Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the Metalhead Potterhead here and today we're looking at the Mina Lima edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Let's take a look. So I got this when it came out, which uh, seems like an age ago. Uh, and I've watched some YouTubers already do presentations on the show. It's in there and it's, it looks great. Uh, Mina and Lena, if you don't know, are the guys that design the look and feel of the Harry Potter movies. Um, so ev all, everything you see in the movies, these guys designed it, like, pretty much. I mean, there's some caveats to that. So when I heard they were bringing out a book, I thought, oh my god, the ultimate Harry Potter book. From what I've seen, for me personally, that's not the case. Um, so let's go through, we're going to go through um, all the different pages, the artwork, there's some interesting um, interactive parts, which is really cool. But um, yeah, let's open it up and take a look. I mean, it feels great. Um, oh, the page on the back. Yeah, it feels quality. It's got some gold kind of gilt around here, which is uh, beautiful and oh, it's, oh, okay you know what I might be wrong I just seen a little bit pop open and it's like this is beautiful so let's get in straight away I hate opening a new book when you hear clicks and we just turn through I mean what's on the front got the golden trio looking at Hogwarts the most dangerous place on earth where everything is trying to kill you but we love it on the back Mr. H Potter blah 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 it's kind of embossed as well which is Again, nice. I can't wait to get all seven books of this series. Um, that looks like a tower from Hogwarts on the spine, which is cool. What do we got going on in here? So, wow, there's lots of illustrations. Interesting Hogwarts crest with all four houses. Beautiful quill here on the kind of intro page. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not a crazy fan of the artwork. I'll do some zoom in separately on, on the more key items, but I'm not super into the design. But like every, okay, I'm on, on the second page now, there's illustrations there. Okay, there's not, there aren't illustrations on every single page. Like there's the Dursleys getting it on. Dumbledore. So it's kind of, oh, okay, here's one of the first interactive items. What is this? We've got a, oh, there's cards to kind of protect things. Okay, so we got, um, is that like Dumbledore's watch or something? Either way, it looks pretty amazing. I'm gonna keep the cards in place uh, just to keep everything nice. Healthy. It's gonna to be tough to kind of go through. <laughs> and what have we got here? Chapter two: The Vanishing Glass. We've got some Hagrid motorbike action going on. We got some Harry in the bed. And the cupboard under the stairs. Okay, so there's lots of little kind of liner illustrations, but it's just too much to kind of go into detail. Like we've got some jumpers on there. When he's in the reptile house in the zoo. Talking to the snake. Some owls. Oh, and some of the illustrations are actually lovely. This is really nice. The Hogwarts letters coming in. Full page illustration on there. That's cool. Harry looking underneath the door. I like that. <laughs> it's just the kind of cutaway of the house 
and all the elves on top trying to deliver the Hogwarts letter. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Dorsley in a sleeping bag. Lots of letters coming through the door. Okay, every second page seems to have a, a, a fairly substantial illustration on there. So another interactive kind of thing. Oh, here's Hagrid. 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 Chapter four. The keeper of the keys. Okay. What have we got here? We got some fiction. Mr. Harry Potter. The floor. Hot on the sea. Sea rock. Oh wow. This is. Pre oh, it's the whole. It's the the letter. Yay. Oh, this is so good. So it's his accepted Hogwarts letter. This is a book that will probably fall apart. So I'm gonna keep this as perfect as I can in my collection. And the Hogwarts letter is repeated in the book itself. Okay, I'm not gonna go through a lot of the illustrations. There's, there there's actually too many to go through. Just any that jump out at me, I will show, is what I'm trying to say. It's a bit of a mess. <laughs> the book is a bit of a mess. I wouldn't like to read this. Oh, well, here's one. Oh, I've seen this. This is really cool. But this is, um, I think it's, yeah, it's Diagon Alley, which opens up like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Again, not amazingly illustrated, in my opinion, but cool nonetheless. Do not get creased. That's brilliant. Oh, that's so cool. Ollivanders, look at that. That's nice. I think my problem is I expected more detail in the illustrations, but le le less cartoony. Hogwarts oh, Express. But having said that, I'm still enjoying what I'm look at what I'm seeing. Oh, uh, I think I'm still showing everything. I'm like the Weasleys. Hermione being Hermione. Nice picture of Hagrid and all the little students heading over to Hogwarts, the most dangerous place on earth. Oh, the sorting ceremony. The sorting hat. Oh, more interaction. What do we do? Oh, cool. Got it? Yeah. Okay. What's in the back? Is there stuff here? No, no, don't break the book. There's Professor Quirrell, looking a bit odd. <clears throat> There's Snape, looking very Snape. No, oh, more interaction. What's this? That's cool. Quidditch. Peeves. Hogwarts. Oh, lots of text. Oh. Illustrations everywhere in Hagrid, uh, Hagrid's hut. Chapter 12, the mirror of Erised. The wizard's chess pieces look kind of stupid. Harry Potter and his Weasley Christmas jumper. 
Oh, interaction. What could it be? Uh, mm, what is it? I don't know. That, oh, I get it, okay. So that falls down to change it to a Christmas scene. Very nice. I'm not folding it all the way because I don't want it to break. These books are not gonna last. Kids will have these destroyed. Oh, how are you looking in the mirror? Albus Dumbledore chocolate frog card. Norbert, the Norwegian Ridgeback. Text, 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 text. Norbert. Chapter 15, The Forbidden Forest. Students are forbidden from entering the Forbidden Forest. Unless you're on detention, then we'll send you there at night. House points. Every page has at least a nice little border on the edge, up, up around the corners. There's the Forbidden Forest and Voldemort drinking some unicorn blood because it's delicious. Through the trap door. There's, there's illustrations that I'm skipping over, just small little things here and there. It's only, as I said, when something big hits me, I'm like, hey guys, look at this, like this one. All the keys. Beautiful. I've totally changed my opinion on this book, by the way. Um, leafing through it myself. What have we got here? We've got some. Oh, it's a pop-up wizard chest. W wizard chest, that's really nice. Getting to the end now, ladies and gentlemen. That's nice, the man with two faces. Give me something big to end on. Oh. We've got something big to end on. We've got... Oh, that's cool. I'll never be able to put them back in. And... Dumbledore talking to Harry. And we're at the end. Sweets everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. Last image. Happy, happy, happy. It's a beautiful book. I completely have changed my opinion on the artwork in it. It's actually really, really well done. I was expecting a, a more realized version because it's Mina Lima, but what they've done there is great. And at the end of the day, this is a kid's book. Just, there's no question that does appeal to kids. Having said that, as I've said throughout, this book will not last in kids' hands. This will be destroyed. <laughs> this is like, a future collector's item because there's not going to be many of these left in good condition. So all the collectors out there, hang on to your books. Okay guys, hope you liked that video. See you on the next one. Bye bye.